You know that feeling of, I don't want to mess up that expensive knife by opening up boxes and having a bunch of glue residue left on the blade? And you still want something good looking and well made to keep in your pockets? Then this might be just what you were looking for. I am interested in knives and truth to be told, I am not that knowledgeable about steel nor do I carry a knife with me all of the time due to German knife laws. And if I carry a knife, I usually opt for a Swiss army knife Super Tinker. With its non-lockable blades, it's more or less, let's say, in a gray zone of knife laws. And their small blade is great to open up boxes because with that blade, I don't mind it getting messed up. So the James brand Palmer definitely scratches this little itch of not wanting to mess up an expensive blade. And most people probably opt to use a regular box cutter to open up boxes and then cut them up into small pieces for the trash. But the Palmer looks much better and is more pocketable than a regular box cutter knife. This basically is a good looking aluminium casing with a replaceable and inexpensive box cutter blade inside of a well working sliding lock mechanism. Okay, let's get the negatives out of the way first. As mentioned, this is made out of aluminium, which is, let's say, a soft metal. So I already scuffed it up a lot, just from two drops at about hip height on concrete, while I was cutting boxes that I wanted to throw into the trash. All of these scuffs definitely add to the used look. I personally, I like it, but I can't see how some will dislike this getting scuffed up so fast. And that's totally understandable, but in the end, this is yeah, it's tool. And in my humble opinion, it looks much better used. Next up is the mechanism. This is very easy, smooth and satisfying to operate. However, you need to be very, let's say, deliberate and conscious when closing or opening the blade. It has three locking points, closed, loose and open. So when you slide the lock, you first get to the middle position, which is for replacing the blade. Sliding it one more step, you get to the locked but open blade position. That means if you are careless, you accidentally end up in the middle position with a loose blade. So either the blade might fall out or even worse, if you close it and accidentally don't slide it two positions, the blade is still out and you might cut yourself. Right now, this is something I am highly aware of and I'm very careful or deliberate, meaning I do push it as strong as needed into one direction. But I imagine after a few weeks of use and me potentially being in a rush, this could get dangerous. But other than that, I really like this tool. It's great to open up boxes and then cut those boxes into pieces afterwards for the trash. Furthermore, it's so small, it's definitely easy just to keep in your pockets. Another benefit of the inexpensive replaceable blades, this is perfect for traveling. You can just take out the blade, check into your flight and then buy one cheap blade at your destination. Granted, you probably won't need to cut up boxes while traveling, but having a blade just in case won't hurt. Most people will ask, why do you carry around a knife? Why do you carry an expensive blade? And I do understand most of their arguments in addition to the knife laws and don't forget the cost of owning a knife. But I feel like this is the perfect tool for a lot of people. Everyone needs to open up boxes, take out cardboard to the trash, etc. And of course, you could use a kitchen knife, but either that one is way too big and you could harm yourself, or it's just too nice to mess up with glue residue, or it's getting dull from just opening up boxes. Of course, you could just use a box cutter, but that one is either too big for your pants pockets or just looks too ugly. And truth to be told, if I see you with a box cutter just walking around, I probably think you are a mass murderer or something. <laughs> the Palmer fits right into that space of a very useful everyday tool that still looks apart and fits easily into your pants pockets. So if you don't mind the tool getting some scratches and you are careful with the sliding mechanism, then I can highly recommend adding the Palmer to your everyday carry. 
So, how do you open up boxes? Do you use a regular knife? Do you use your expensive pocket knife? Or you use something completely different? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any more questions about the James Brand Palmer, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And also, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Also, check out my second channel and my Instagram at you know the bow. Stay safe and healthy everyone, and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.